Wolfgang? Hello, my name is Knight, Gabriel Knight. Herr Knight, oh, kommen Sie bitte, Herren. I mean, come in, please, Herr Knight. I was not expecting you. Has Wolfgang sent you here? Uncle Wolfgang? No, I came to see him. Isn't he here? No, he is gone. I'm sorry. You came all this way. Oh, great. That's all I need. Herr Knight, Wolfgang told me all about you and gave me instructions for you to feel welcome here. Please, this is your home. You are a writer, no? I am just doing some work. I will continue and you may make yourself comfortable. If there is anything you need, please ask me. You may use Wolfgang's bedroom. It is at the top of the stairs. Thank you, Miss... Uh... You may call me Gerda, Herr Knight. Gerda. Wow, this is a pretty big fucking place you got here. A large handcraft dagger hangs on the wall. It looks quite old, but it's been polished to a high shine. I wish we can grab that. Yep. This dagger. It is the knife of a Schattenjäger. You may take it, Herr Knight. Everything in this castle is yours now. The Ritter Dagger is solid, weighty, and highly polished. The dagger is unmarked. So, what do you do when you're not puttering around the castle? Every day I go to Riddersburg to do the daily shopping and uh, visit my friends. Oh, that's nice. Fascinating. Have you worked here long? For the past four years, I came here when I was 18. What's it like in Riddersburg? It is very peaceful and quiet. I am sure you will find it like a vacation, yeah? Somehow, I doubt this is going to be a vacation. Ooh, is it always this cold around here? To tell you the truth, we never have snow in June here, Herr Knight. Even though we are in the Alps, the weather, it is not normal this year. Oh, that's very weird. This place is so quiet. Doesn't that bother you at all? I love it here in Schloss Ritter. Even the silence feels like home to me. Can I ask you a few questions? Yeah, of course. Tell me about Wolfgang. What would you like to know? Where do you think Wolfgang went? I don't know, but I have a feeling he has gone off to go be Schattenjäger again. He is too old for such chasing around. His heart is very weak. He has not left this castle for five years and now this. Do you know when he'll be back? I only pray he will be back. Before he left, he said Schloss Ritter now belongs to Gabriel. It worried me so to hear him say that. I'm afraid Wolfgang knew he would never return. What is Wolfgang like? Wolfgang is a truly wise and good man, the best I have ever known. But his life has been so full of disappointments. What kind of disappointments? His only son died in infancy, so there was no one to carry on the family line. And the family's financial troubles have been hard on him. Wolfgang wanted to do so much for the world, but it was all he could do just to hold on to Schloss Ritter. He has not left his mark as he wished to. What is your relationship with Wolfgang? Herr Knight, my relationship with your uncle is really none of your business. You're right, Gerda. I apologize. Forget I asked. Well, I mean, just to ask how you two get along, I'm not talking about you, like, banging each other or shit, like, what the fuck? Can you show me Wolfgang's library? How do you know about his library? When we talked on the phone, he said he was going to do some research in his library. I thought maybe if I saw what he was researching... Ah, 
Yeah, a good idea, Herr Knight, but I'm afraid I cannot show you the library. You see, I have never been in it. Only a Schattenjäger can enter the library. I see. Just tell me anything. Wolfgang has dedicated his entire life to the role of Schattenjäger. Just tell me anything. He has not had a very happy life, but I have done my best to provide him with a little comfort. Just tell me anything. He thought he was the last of the Ritter line until he found out about you. Just tell me anything. He knows the history of the Ritter family for many centuries past. Tell me something about the Ritter family. I can tell you what they say in the village, what I heard when I was small. To the villagers, the Ritters are a little, how do you say, tragic, to be pitied. They say that the Ritters were chosen by God to fight evil, but something happened. One of them was cursed, and so the Ritters lost the way. They struggle still, but like a lame dog, you see? Without the power or magic they once had. Tell me something about the Ritter family. There are legends of how powerful the family once was, of some of their mighty deeds, of the richness of the castle, and in turn, Rittersburg itself. But at the end of the 17th century, that all changed. Since then, the Ritters and Rittersburg have been in decline. Tell me something about the Ritter family. It is a troubled family here, Knight. That much I know. Tell me what you know about Schattenjägers. As Wolfgang may have told you, Schattenjäger means shadow hunter. The Ritter family have always been Schattenjägers. It is a kind of priesthood, though not <laughs> as restrictive as most. Tell me something about Schloss Ritter. Schloss Ritter has stood for many centuries, no one knows how long. It was once the pride of Bavaria, but now it is in disrepair. Wolfgang received offers to open the castle for tourists. He has resisted though, even though the castle is in desperate need of repairs. But to him, this ground is sacred. Tell me something about Schloss Ritter. The castle has many, many rooms and passages here night. Most have been closed off and are decaying in the dark and damp. Only a few rooms have been kept up due to the cost. Didn't Wolfgang mention a library? There is a library, but I've never been in it. There are places in the castle where only the master is allowed to go. Tell me something about Schloss Ritter. Schloss Ritter is the center from which the Schattenjägers have always gone out to battle the forces of evil. Tell me something about yourself. I'm not well traveled, but Wolfgang has been kind and has tutored me in many subjects. It was from him I learned to speak English. He must have sensed you were coming here at night and that you would have need of me. Tell me something about yourself. I'm very devoted to my position here with Wolfgang. Alright, let's uh, look around the place. A few tapestries hang on the wall. Gabriel isn't sure if they mean something, or if they're just good insulation. Gerda is young and quite attractive. There's a dragon's head on the wall. It looks like a real dragon's head, too. The Shadow Hunter stuff is serious. Uh, I doubt... Well, it's not too far fresh. It's a lion's <laughs> head carved in stone. Alright, uh, let's head upstairs. The head of a lion stares at Gabriel from above the door. Near the bed is an elaborate wooden door. A gothic-style window looks out over an incredible view. There's a small pair of grooming scissors on the cabinet. Because I didn't take the scissors. Gabriel takes the scissors. I don't take this bowl. <laughs> A 
A large display case hangs on the wall. It contains a scroll. Ah, scroll. Well, what does it read? Alas, Gabriel. Okay, not like that. The display. This there we go. Is interesting. All right, let's see what this scroll is about. The chamber pot is old, but clean. Saint George, patron of the light, who hunts the shadows of the night. Upon my blood, I call thee now. Purify me, for I avow to set my feet upon thy road. Thy sword I take up for mine own. The scroll from the deep. Well, that's uh, something for uh, this puzzle that's coming Peter up. The wolf gang left very recently. Oh, good. He feels quite at home in this room herself. At the foot of the bed is a small table. Gabriel cannot open or close that. Well, let's walk over into the door and see if uh, there's anything. It's locked. Alright. The portal said, New de range de daf passieren. Decent carrots is rein be glass. Decent zeller rein we führer. Schreitich Herder Dutch Portal. Well, Jamaican narrator reading German. That's something you'll hear every day. Near the bed is an elaborate wooden door. Alright, well, let's ask Gerda about it. See what that means, because. I don't speak a, speak a lick of German. <laughs> there are some words over the locked door in Wolfgang's bedroom. What do they mean? Ah, yes. Wolfgang had me translated as part of my English lessons. In English, it means only the purest here may pass. He whose heart is pure as glass. He whose soul is pure as fire. So this portal passes higher. Great. Thanks. Okay, so basically only the purest of hearts may uh, pass through this portal, so how do we do that? Well, we just go here and it will give us all the answers we need to purify ourselves, uh, to put it that way. Of course there's a uh, St. George uh, fighting against the dragon. A magnificent stained glass window depicts the legendary battle between St. George and the dragon. Three panels hang from each side of the chapel. Gabriel cannot determine what their purpose might be. Alright, so in order to like start this puzzle, this puzzle, you have to enter the room and then go back out to talk to Gerda about it and then you can start it. What can you tell me about those wall panels in the chapel? The hangings? They describe the Schattenjäger initiation ceremony. Tell me about the Schattenjäger initiation ceremony. Each young man of the Ritter line must go through the ceremony when he dedicates himself to be a Schattenjäger. But what does the ceremony do? I do not know, Herr Knight. The only people present are the old Schattenjäger and the new. But I think it must be similar to a priest's ordination or a wedding, a ceremony of intent and oath. Yes. Is there a problem, Herr Knight? You said wedding. I'm okay now. So, anyway, on the on the first banner, um, this is a pretty easy puzzle. Although the third banner got me stumped, uh, which I'll get to later. the The first one uh, is pretty easy. You just have to 
wash your hands and uh, since basically uh, you can't like do that use like a, a faucet or something to wash your hands you have to do it through nature or whatever so you just go outside and then wash your hands with the this the snow and, uh, pretty coincidental occasion I must say and then the second one's pretty easy just cut a strain of your hair and then the third one, uh, I was stumped on this because I thought you have to fill your bowl with the snow, which fills, makes turns it into water, and then you pour salt on it. But no, just pouring the, the salt on it, which you can grab the uh, bottle of salt next to Gerda, by the way, which is on the floor. Uh, you can just grab that salt and then pour on the bowl, and that's about it. You don't have to fill it up with water or anything like that. I guess you can tell because it looks like from the grail is doing like the whole Moses spreading the part thing, whatever. But I mean, you, you know, it's it's like it concerns something with the ocean. It concerns something with salt because it talks about it. Because the narrator mentions it like the ocean or whatever. And it's the grail is like standing on some type of pillar with the ocean or something like that. But I guess this would indicate that it's just... Maybe you just had to put the salt in it only and not worry about pouring the water in with the salt or whatever. But yeah. And, and then the rest is just pretty easy. You just uh, cut your, yourself and then pour blood on the bowl. And then uh, kneel before the altar and then read the scroll. And that's about it. Not not the hardest puzzle, but the third panel can get you stumped if you don't know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> It, it, the third one confused me a bit, but overall not too hard of a puzzle. Thinking of the third panel, Gabriel pours the contents of the salt shaker into the chamber pot. Thinking of the fourth panel, Gabriel holds his arm over the chamber pot and nicks it with the dagger. Oops, nearly hit an artery. Thinking of the fifth panel, Gabriel kneels at the altar. Thinking of the sixth panel, Gabriel reads the scroll. St. George, patron of the light, who hunts the shadows of the night, upon my blood I call thee now, purify me, for I avow to set my feet upon thy road, thy sword I take up for mine own. It works. Something's happening. Why does it sound like a vacuum? Oh, excuse me. I was just vacuuming. Oh. <laughs> I did not know you were yeah. in here. Oh, that's all right. I've done about all I can do in here anyway. I give up. You look tired here, Knight. Why don't you go to bed? Sure. Why not? I will clean everything up. You need not worry. I can't believe I cut my hair for nothing. What a crack of shit. That night, Gabriel dreams. Oh! Your soul smells, Gabriel Knight. You seek to be shattered here, Uh, yeah, I do. I do. Must first burn away the past. How much sin do you have to burn? Uh, <laughs> can we not go into that? Oh shit. <laughs> you have used people all your life. Never committed to anything. Turn back now, and I will forget that you asked for this. No! 
there are only two things that redeem you. First, that you have bitter blood in your veins. Second, that three women have loved you purely. You ask to start on the path, so you shall. But you will not be a Shatterhiga until you have earned it. How? I cannot show you the path, but I can tell you that you will have to let go of the greater part of yourself, Gabriel Knight. <laughs> no problem. Yes. Now you asked for purification. You shall have it. Oh, hey, cool, a sword. The power of Christ compels you! Ugh, that's creepy. It turned into like some weird Dr. Seuss caricature or some shit. Day 8. Inside of him, chamber. Found the wheel at last, or could it be the wheel found me? What a night. I'm so all over. Now, who the hell put this key here? I don't believe it. It's the key from my dream. How convenient. Alright, well, let's just take a key and not be suspicious about who left it there in the first place. And, uh, why don't we talk to, um, Goethe first? Guten Morgen, Herr Knight. I'm cooking your Frühstück, a good German breakfast. Please, feel at home. You wouldn't know anything about this key I found in Wolfgang's bedroom, now, would you? Key? Why, no, Herr Knight, I cannot say that I do. This dragon looking key on the door. Bling, ding, ding. Yeah. Another Bling, little technical beans. error over there. Just by glancing at the spines, Gabriel can tell that this is one of the most priceless private collections he's ever seen. Talk about a bibliophile Shangri La! An ancient shield hangs on the wall. Just by glancing at the spine, talk of, just by glance, talk of, a heavy wooden table occupies the center of the library. More colorful tapestries soften the stone walls here. Two tall, narrow windows provide daylight to the dank room. The candles for nighttime reading, perhaps. These texts are in German. You really have to learn the language now. Although it probably won't shed any light on Wolfgang's whereabouts, Gabriel picks up a book from the Ritter section. The book is entitled Maleus Maleficarum, The Witch Hammer, dated 1486. And that is a, a real a book, by the way. There is a book called the, the, the Witch Hammer. I'm not sure I'm really interested in knowing about some of my ancestors. Although it probably... It looks like a very old diary of the wife of Ritter Schottenjäger. Interesting. It seemed that her husband, one Freiling Ritter, had rescued this woman from the clutches of the Marquis de Sade himself. Uh. This family tree really goes way back. The written documents are fascinating, but Gabriel is determined to stay focused on the task at hand. 
Although it probably isn't connected with the case at hand, Gabriel picks up an occult book. It's a book on lycanthropes, shape shifters. The book claims that lycanthropy is not uncommon. Supposedly, there's been evidence of apparently normal human beings turning into various beasts throughout history, including some famous trials from the Middle Ages. Fascinating. Gabriel's made a few women turn into beasts himself. Hey. Uh, yeah, of course, like, like, like an anthrope also refers to, like, uh, werewolves, because there's a, there's a, there's a Greek myth, uh, concerning this guy named King Lycan, yeah, King Lycan, I think King Lycan of Arcadia, and, um, I think he had Zeus over for dinner one night or something like that, and then he offered, like, <laughs> son's like like chopped up limbs or whatever like he killed his son and then offered like off his pieces to Zeus and Zeus was pissed about that and then he turned uh, King Lycan into either like a wolf or a wolf like uh, or a, like a, a man wolf kind of creature thing so that's where Lycan comes from, or lycanthrope comes from. Although it, there are many forms of vampirism, one is associated with a blood disorder and is not supernatural. Another, also non-supernatural, is based on a form of insanity. Of supernatural vampirism, there are also several varieties including inherited, communicative, and a vampirism used in black sorcery power drawing ritual. Then, too, there's always law school. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting that... I'm not sure if, um... If the, the writer of this, uh... Of, uh, of the Gabriel Nice series, Jenin... I forgot her last name, but it's Janice something. Uh, I'm not sure if the writer put put information on lycanthropes and vampirism in there for like the the future sequels that would come later. Like the, like the second game, well, it was a little bit of a spoil, but you already know like with this game, there's supernatural shit going on. But anyway, it's in the second game, it, it's concerning uh, werewolves, and in the third game, it concerns. Uh, with the uh, vampires and all that, so I'm not sure if that was like intentional that she put information in there or not, or if it's just something that to show that you know, Shot and Yeager's Hunt the Supernatural or something like that. Because I'm not sure if they originally had plans to make uh, the sequels after uh, Sins of the Fathers. Now, um, this puzzle in the library, this one isn't also hard either, but it's kind of a bit of a pain. Because you can't just, I mean, you can you can use uh, the hand uh, mouse thing to, like, look through the books. But you can't just do that just to start the puzzle. Like, in order to do that, you have to use the eye examining um, feature or tool to examine one of the books or one of the shelves or whatever and then and if there's something that catches Gabriel's eyes it'll tell you about it and then you can pick up the book and then it just repeats a pattern where it, it takes you on like this easter egg kind of whatever where you have to search through the books just to find where uh, Wolfgang has gone uh, to find where the your the Ritter talisman is so you just you examine the shelf with the exam examine tool and then you use the hand tool to grab the book for which you need to uh, grab out of the shelves and then it will lead you to or it will refer you to another book for you to read and then you just pro start the process over again where you examine it first before you take it out on the shelf it's a little tedious of course it's not a hard puzzle but of course if you don't know what to do 
So you want to know to examine unless you just done it by accident or, or something like that. Or just do it out of like desperation because you're, you're stuck on this puzzle and you have no idea what else you can do. This is another puzzle that's a little too hard but it's not as bad as like... Compared to the last puzzle you did with the initiation ceremony, and this one's a little bit worse than the last puzzle. Although not as bad, I would say. It's just a, a little uh, tedious and, and, and a little confusing at first on what you need to do, like examining the shelf first before taking the book out and knowing which which uh, shelf to pick it up and it can be like a pain to like try to find which shelf to start with or whatever these shelves contain history book gabriel recognizes a title ancient roots of africa by earl lee days gabriel removes ancient roots of Africa and browses through it. The ferocity of the tribes in the Red Basin region is traceable to their predecessors. In Egyptian time, 4000 to 2000 BC, this region was ruled by powerful sun worshippers. We know a little about this mysterious cult by the remnants of ruins far older and of a culture far more advanced than any that exist in Africa today. See Sun Worshippers by A. Curate. These shelves contain books on religions of all kinds. A title catches Gabriel's eye. Sun Worshippers by A. Curate. Gabriel takes down sun worshippers and scans it. One of the earliest religious practices was that of sun worship. The most powerful cults of sun worshippers lived on the continent of Africa. The African sun god was violent and terrible, and so became his worshippers. They practiced a particularly bloody form of ritual sacrifice. The homeland of this ancient cult is still considered a sacred site of power. See Ancient Digs of Africa by Professor Seymour Shards. These shelves contain books on archaeology. Gabriel recognizes a title, Ancient Digs of Africa, by Professor Seymour Shards. Gabriel takes ancient digs of Africa and opens it. The most fascinating archaeological site in Africa is the Great Snake Mound in the People's Republic of Benin, located 50 miles south of the capital in the Red Basin. Like the Snake Mounds of North America, the origin and meaning of these great mounds remains a mystery, though clearly they were the results of profound and urgent spiritual belief. Unlike other snake mounds, the African example is a double snake mound, a small snake ring within a larger snake ring. The mound is thought to have housed an ancient temple. Although archaeologists have explored the mound site, the interior remains largely unchanged from ancient times. This is partially due to stringent government regulations and partially to local superstitions. The local people regard the mound with fear and will not go near it. A double snake ring? Gabriel flips furiously looking for a picture. Oh my god, it's a wheel within a wheel. And a wheel. Gabriel decides to hang on to the snake mound book. I found this book in the library. I think it might tell us where Wolfgang went. Africa? You think Wolfgang went to Africa? I know he did. Then I shall make you a plane trip right now, yeah? Well, I guess so. Good, good. 
My poor Wolfgang. You have money for the plane, yeah? Ah, no. We can use this credit card. Terrific! I will go make the call. Then, while we wait, breakfast. Does that mean I get some coffee now? Day nine. And then the wheel went round and round. I could not find my way. Twelve and three and turn the key. I heard the madman say. Wheel within a wheel. You want I stay here, right? It's a long walk back to the city. Yeah, sure. Wait here, please. Uh, maybe a while, though. No problem. I could use a nap. The jeep driver has settled into his seat for a nap. The snake mound consists of an outer ring and an inner ring. Two snakes eating their tails. The Jeep was one of several private taxis trying to pick up business at the airport. The driver knew exactly where the snake mound was located, and his rates were very cheap. All right, well, let's head over there. Uh, this proposal is probably a little bit on the easy side if you know what you're doing. Uh, especially on like first glance so like you examine the templates and you see these number of snakes and, and once you find out there's like a specific pattern and like you know there's six snakes and there's eight snakes and all that like there's a number of snakes on these templates you figure out that oh I, I just have to put these in order and, and I don't think it doesn't matter uh, which way you put in order um, because there are there are like templates are fixed in especially that door with the template fixed into that that main door which is I think it's always going to be which is the uh, the one with the seven snakes on it and so you, uh, you do you put all the templates on the correct number order which is pretty easy and self-explanatory and then after that you think that's it but it's really not so now you have to Think back on one of the pul earliest puzzles that you did earlier. So remember when we did that uh, clock puzzle back when we found the, the envelope to the uh, the letter uh, addressed to um, Gabriel's grandfather. And also think back with the the number three, like um, you know Hans's poem, you know Gabriel's grandfather's, you know the three dragons, and also. And then also Gabriel's father's pain, which has three snakes on the skull. And then of course with the the clock puzzle, um, you have to turn it to number three with the hmm. with the dragon on the on the top of the. Uh, so imagine the whole mound as like a clock. So you just go around and you have to find the number three template that you just placed on there, and then you use the staff to insert it through the hole there and then you basically solve the puzzle but then after you, but then you're not done yet because then all of a sudden these fucking zombie fight mummies come come back to life and then obviously you can't let them touch or else they'll fucking maul you and rip your heart out like a Mortal Kombat character or a John Romero um, zombie flick whatever but anyway, yeah, you want to get out of that room as quick as possible, and you can't stay in that room, particular room for like, I want to say like six or seven seconds, because because in that six or seven seconds, you just it's, it's like a time limit for how long you stay in there, and if the time limit is up, you just Gabriel just stands there, does nothing while the zombie just walks over you, and then horror music. Um, starts and then he, the zombie fucking mauls you and all that so you have to be quick to get out of there 
you get to the last part of the room where there's like three zombies and one of them is blocking the doorway. You have nowhere else to go unless you, unless like you uh, have a keen eye and notice one of the, the vines over there and then just out of uh, curiosity you use the hand tool to grab onto the vines and then just knock the zombie out of the way and that's it. So, so that part, so the puzzle isn't bad. It's just the after solving the puzzle and getting through the zombies is a little, is a little frustrating, but not like terribly frustrating or like it's not like something that will pull your hair out or something like that. It's just a little frustrating to to figure out what to do. It fits. And it... The rod fits into the hole in the stone. Nothing happens. A shadow flickers in the corner of Gabriel's eye. Gabriel has the creeping sensation. An elaborate mural with a mass design has been carved into the wall in this room. A shadow. From somewhere off in the mound, Gabriel hears a soft click, then a rumble. Uh-oh. I have a feeling that did something. Oh shit, zombies! Alright, okay, get the fuck out of- Ah, oh, shit! Oh, I was nowhere near him! 
Oh, what a fucking rip. I really don't want to be dead. Can we try that again? I don't want to be fucking gypped. And it... Gabriel has the creep. Two. Three. Yes, so. From somewhere up. Uh. So you have to be quick. To pass this guy. And then try to get around this guy. But you don't want to wait too long to, to let it pass you by. Just try to not get near as close as possible. And now there you go. I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh, shit. Hey, Wolfgang! Gabriel Knight, I presume. Uncle Wolfgang? Hey, he's a fucking badass. <laughs> In person. Now go to it, boy. I can't hold these creatures for very long, and there are more on the way. Go to what? The secret panel, boy! Those creatures are only alive while it's open. Close it, Gabriel, and hurry. All right, so just put that here. I think I found something. Very good, Gabriel. Now stand back. Phew! That was a close one. Bit of a little Indiana Jones moment there. Wow. The inner wheel. Yes. Wheel within a wheel. V within a wheel. Okay? You don't look so hot. I mean, oh forgive. man, you stupid fuck. <laughs> the wheel. You dreamt it? Yeah. And you? Yes. I must congratulate you on the three snakes connection. I had missed it. You will make a wonderful Schottenjäger. Who? Me? Yes. It is a long path, my boy. I myself have still the last of my three quests to meet. But let us see what is here. You have found the heart of the apple. But it might be poison still. A mummy lies on the floor, apparently having fallen inanimate where it stood when the secret passage door closed. It's nice to finally have someone around who knows what the hell's going on. I know, my boy. I know. It's nice to finally... Can we talk? Uh, we probably have a little time here. Yes, all right. Tell me about yourself. This is not the time nor the place, Gabriel. I I'm sorry, but I assure you, my life has not been all that instructive. Is there anything else you can tell me about Tetelo? I can feel her presence here. I wouldn't be surprised if she knew we were violating her sanctum. Is there anything else you can tell me about the talisman? The most important thing about the talisman is that it be once again in the hands of the Schattenjägers. Do you think Tetelo's remains are here? I have a feeling that they are, Gabriel. Yeah, hey, you wouldn't have to have some bravo sick on you, do you? This is the inner wheel of the snake mound. Though similar in appearance to the outer wheel, there's a sense of evil sanctity and secrecy about this room that is very different indeed. This is the inner wheel of the snake mound. Though similar, the table's lid fits heavily on the base. At the seams, there are two large holes on either side. On top of the lid is a trough. What's that trough for? I saw that. This is undoubtedly a sacrificial table. That trough is for a human heart. Oh, that's sick. Ew. This is 
Under wall is a rack containing two long iron bars. Should we try this lid? I suppose it wouldn't hurt. No, no, help, too Gabriel. heavy. I don't think it would open so easily, though. Were we ten strong men? Yeah. So what you really need is the uh, these bars yeah, right here. We cannot take that. Yes, we can. Stop. What oh, about these iron bars? So specific. Yeah, I have to take the second Good idea. One. Let me help you. All right, so you have to take these iron bars and put it in these uh, holes right here on, on those sides. Perhaps these holes. There. And we take the other one. And... Let's get the other one. There. Now we just lift it. The bar fits in the tabletop. Gabriel doesn't. I'm not looking to put it back. I just want to open the damn thing. Let's try to lift this top. I know it's in there. Yes, it is in there. I have not felt this powerful since, well, ever. Why won't the damn lid come off? It is a sacrificial table. It can probably only be triggered by the proper use of that trough there. With a heart. Oh, great. Where are we going to get a heart? Gabriel, you must take the talisman and be Schottenheger. You performed the ritual and dreamt of the dragon, no? Yes, I did. But you're the current Schottenheger. I only did that because... Because you were driven to it. I have done nothing with this title for many years. Even in my prime, I had few cases. No. Oh, if my life had a purpose, it was to bring you to this point. But I have no idea what I'm doing. This is not a science, Gabriel. It is instinct. And you have it in your blood. Trust it. The castle is yours now. It has many documents and records which will help you in the future. Well, thanks for the confidence. But what about this table? I want you to go into the next room and get a heart from that dead creature on the floor. Will that work? Doesn't that need to be... fresh? Let us try. Perhaps there's some of the old Ritter magic left. Go on. Okay, then. If you say so, I'll take your word for it. Uh, this is Schottenjäger dagger. Just cut him up. Great. My first job is Schottenjäger, cutting up dead monsters. No! Yeah, could you at least taught me that Kano fatality move before offing yourself? Tetalil, you gonna pay for this, you bitch! Why did he go to Africa, Gertie? <sighs> no, it's okay. I'm just a little anxious. No, they haven't. I just need to talk to Gabriel. Uh-oh. Ah, poltergeist! Oof. Alright. We're in the... Uh, we're in deep now. Day 10. Deep in the earth, I face a fire that I can never win. The blameless and the base destroyed. And all that might have been. Gabriel now. 
After arranging for a shipment of Wolfgang's body back to Richesburg, Gabriel returns to New Orleans. He carries with him the Ritter talisman. He has not heard from Grace for over 24 hours, and he could not reach Malia by phone. And although he has some idea of what he is coming home to attempt, he still has no clue where to attempt it. Or does he?